one of the instruments that you'll be using in the lab for me measurements is a serological pipette. And if you notice, if you look at the serological pipette, it has increments starting from um, 1 right up to 10. So you can measure any volume up to 10 mils of solution or um, liquid and you can actually use it to transfer a certain volume of liquid from one container to the next. So I'm just going to briefly show you how to use a serological pipette and I'm going to use a pipette pump that will help me to suck the liquid up into the serological pipette and hence transfer it into another container. So the two containers I'm using here, they're beakers. This beaker contains sodium hydroxide so let's say I'm doing a reaction that requires 10 mils of sodium hydroxide. So I'm going to firmly place or attach my serological pipette to this um, pipette bulb. And I'm going to immerse it, the, the tip of the pipette into the liquid. And I'm going to use the rotating wheel to get the volume into the serological pipette. So in this case, in order to get or, or get the liquid up into the pipette, I'm going to move my rotating wheel in a clockwise direction. And while I'm doing that, I'm looking carefully at the volume of liquid each time I roll it up. And I'm going to stop at the 10 mil mark, which is about here. And then I'm going to transfer. So a bubble got in. So I want to make sure that I get the, rid of the bubble. And I'm below the 10 mil mark. So I'm going to add a little bit more to get me there. Right? So I'm at the 10 mil mark. And I'm going to transfer this sodium hydroxide solution into my other beaker. This time I rotate my wheel in an anti-clockwise direction to aspirate my liquid. So I have transferred 10 mils of sodium hydroxide from one beaker to the next using a serological pipette.